So I got a big shipment of uh, semis coming my way. The only issue is, is our current dealership, it's seen its day and it needs to be expanded. So let's get to it. So basically the plan is I want to expand the dealership. I think I'm just going to demolish the current dealership. It's not really avid. It's just not proper size and it's seen its day. It's pretty old. It's probably at least 50 years old. So we need to expand. And I think down the road is a perfect spot for it. We're going to take the Ford today. Only because that Dodge right there just has horrible suspension and horrible brakes. Thinking about either getting it to the shop or selling it. One of the two. So we leased a whole bunch of construction equipment. So now we need to go haul that down to where I want to break ground at. And we are going to use the Mac. Start this old girl up. We got a lot of equipment to haul down, so we'll get right to it. I know you guys are probably asking, when are you going to demo your uh, disc? Hold on, we will get to that. Here soon we'll be demoing that, and we'll use that to break the ground. Alright, we're all hooked up. No time to waste. We're going to race down and go get start hauling equipment. Our pigs are doing amazing, so they're getting nice and fat, almost ready to sell. So we do have some young piggies in the barn, so that's always good. So we've got a lot of big equipment down here by the dealers. We're going to have to haul down that we leased. Should work good. So I haven't exactly made my mind up, either right there, or I'm going to put the dealership right here. Thinking on right here, just because how flat it is, I think this will be a nice little piece of ground. Hopefully the sugar beets over here won't make too much stink or noise for us. Almost to the dealership where we're leasing the equipment. Just a beautiful time of the year. Such a uh, nice uh, cloudy day on us here. All right, gonna unhitch the trailer so we can load here. Just leave this truck running. All right, so I got my first piece of equipment loaded. Now I just need to back up my truck. All right, so we are headed off here for our first excavator loaded up. Actually, our only excavator. Looks good on this truck, I think. Let's get it over to our plot of land here. All right, so I think, don't know exactly where I'm gonna put stuff right now. I know I'm gonna put this over to the side here. It's just a grassland so I can drive wherever I want. All right, so we got it unloaded right there. So we will head off and go grab another piece of equipment. All right, just about at the store. Gonna grab our other two pieces of equipment. Hopefully I can get two pieces of equipment on this truck. It would be extremely overweight, but I think we'll be okay. So we are just driving over. I'm gonna use this to flatten out the land nice. Ooh, this thing don't turn very sharp. go got a backup beeper even on it so I'm hoping I can roll this all the way over to the back we will see all right there we go roll it right back there all right so it looks kind of good on there actually I think I should roll it a little bit farther 
All right, I think that's about it. Hopefully that'll stay. Now look at this big tank we got here. Now this is kind of impressive, so I was kind of happy we got to uh, loan this. Don't know if this will fit on there or not. Might be kind of hard. Nope, won't fit. That's a bummer. We'll have to come back and get this. Think I'm gonna use our bulldozer on there. Fortunately, the bulldozer was a no-go, but I think I'm gonna use this uh, Manitou Telehander. A little bit wet out there. Let's see if we can get this on. All right, so that looks like another load for us. Get this truck backed up. All right, time for another uh, load to take over. So we're just gonna pull in over here on our field. Little driveway right here. Slow it down. Slow down. All right. So I'm gonna put this over here by the excavator here. Hopefully here soon we can get started working on building our dealership. Alright, so we got these pieces of equipment. We just need to go for one more load and I think we're done. Alright, so now we just have to move this trailer ahead here. And we are going to load this big beast. Ooh, thing sounds mean. Put this big beast on this trailer. Hopefully it's not too heavy for our truck. Ooh, man. All right, we are loaded. Wow, this thing is big. Pulling it down the road here pretty easily, though. So this should be our last load we got to take with this semi, and we should have all of our leased equipment for our new dealership over there giant piece of equipment coming down the road here taking it nice and easy so we definitely don't have to pay for this big beast of a truck here love this drive going by this little pond over here shouldn't be so our field should be just over the crest here we're gonna put our dealership right around this tree here Pull in right here nicely. Right down in this little uh, basin here, I guess. So I'm going to leave this truck here. And then I'm going to run back and get my demo tractor. Oh man, I just always have to be running. I need to find a better way to get back and forth from my place. Uh, uh, Alright, we made it back here. Man, at least I'm getting myself into shape. Man, that's a good looking tractor. So, my plan is I'm probably going to put the loader on there just because I don't know if I'm going to need it or not. I know you usually don't work with equipment with a loader on but I don't know I might need it for uh, helping out over here I think we could probably put that loader on without having to unhook our speed disc behind us got it right over here Just hook it on up 
Hopefully I'll be able to fit right there. Ooh, don't be close. Oh, yep. A little bit farther ahead. All right. All right, so I'll back this up here. We get headed on and start uh, disking up our land. So I'm going to use this speed disk to basically break up our uh, grass that we just planted. I know we just planted it, but I had no idea at the time that I was going to build this dealership. So kind of just fell into my hands. The bank loan went through. So we got a, quite a bit of money up there. So... Man, do we have a lot of money borrowed, so hopefully this dealership won't be a bad business decision. All right, so we're just going to pull in here and start disking up this land. All right, so now we got to unfold this mean machine here. There we go. It should break up this sod nicely, which is what we need to do. There we go. Start disking. So we're just going to head around here at 11 mile an hour. Speed disk at work. So as you can see, that thing is working nicely. Man, this disc is nice. So glad we were able to uh, get this on loan. Looks like this tractor has a little bit of hard time pulling it up this hill. But kind of understandable because it's a little underpowered for this disc. Already on the second pass here. So going downhill, this thing could go pretty good. It's just pulling it up these hills. A little underpowered. Biting for traction. Maybe one day we can get a not or 8RX and that thing should have the power to pull this thing. Pull this thing up. Fast hydraulics on this tractor. Man, do I really like it. right down on the ground and start heading off again almost done already so don't take long for this and we just had to flatten this all out here this is the last pass here already man quick looks like I got a little slivers that I need to pick up over here get them quickly disc up this land up this hill I had to raise it a little bit oh man I missed some slivers over there guess I got a little bit more to do here we go that should do it so I think this is enough land I'm not positive how this is gonna go yet but we're gonna see fold this old girl up man it got dirty quick Doesn't take that thing long to get dirty. I don't know why. All right, got that now. So, I think the plan is now I'm gonna make a few show mounds over here. Pull this over. Leave it right here. Lower the bucket. Don't know if I'm going to need that bucket or not. All right. So now, going to use this uh, excavator to uh, push the mounds up. We are just going to go right around the disc there. Go up here. I'm going to lower this blade. Don't know exactly where I want it for sure, but I know I want one little show mound here if you want to call it that right about here so we'll start pushing this down all right so I'll push that down oops I want to turn that now I start heading forward start 
plowing up this and put, putting it into a hill. All right, we're just taking this dirt, moving it up here. Gonna make this into a little show mound here. So hopefully put a few uh, trucks up here. All right, so I think that is good. I think I'm done with this for the time being. Now I'm gonna roll all this uh, nice and flat. All right, so we're gonna be flattening this down here. So basically, we are just running along here, flattening this nice and flat, and then going back and forth. This is taking a long while. I just want to flatten this dirt up here before we start. Uh, before we start actually uh, using this, put putting buildings down and rock. A little bit hard keeping on track with this thing. There we go. Just a little more ways to go here. Just flatten this all down. Definitely takes a lot of trips back and forth. Over here. Alright. Just back up here. Really got to stretch the neck while you're doing this, but almost done not too much longer and we'll have this all nice and ready to start some landscaping all right so i got this all flattened out now so got my little mound that i want i think it's pretty nice so now i can start building this thing's kind of nice to use other than it's being so small it took forever to do that
so we got everything set up we got all the rock in we got our buildings up man am i excited about this new place here uh and that doesn't open up but we got a servicing building here and a show building so we'd be able to service our customers too but this is a major upgrade so it's built our new dealership so i do have a few more things to work on i got some grass in the building there uh, a little bit of annoyance but i got the bays open here uh, lights work these big bays got a little bit of grass in there but this will be able we will be able to service our customers very easily here but thank you all for watching and i will see you later here in iowa at our dealer thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time